Welcome back to Mafia 3. In the previous episode, Lincoln took down Merle Jackson and gave Perla's nightclub to Cassandra and the Haitians as they're now helping him with his mission to get revenge. We start today with Lincoln meeting up with Donovan, so we just need to wait and see when Donovan will arrive. Surprised to see you out here. <laughs> Decided to get some fresh air. Yeah. That heroin the Dixie Mafia's been selling? It's run out of there by a man named Charlie Kincaid. Meaning all the other dealers around here kick up to him. Charlie stays away if he can help it, so you're gonna have to put the squeeze on him. I flagged a couple of his guys. You get them to talk, they'll tell you how to get to him. Now, from what I hear, Charlie's only in this for the money. He's not a true believer like those other Dixie Mafia assholes. So maybe if I talk sweet to him, he'll decide to bail on Doucette and come work for me. Assuming I can draw him out. I got something I can help you with that. That's what I wanted to show you. New Bordeaux's on a standard communication grid, so getting a system of wiretaps up and running should be fairly easy. Just install this little beauty on a junction box, and I'll be able to construct an intelligence map of the nearby area. How many more of these you got? Just those. The parts are on an agency watch list. But if we manage to dig up more of them, we could wiretap the entire city. <laughs> All right. God damn it! People think living under these commie motherfuckers is so great they should move their asses over to Moscow. You find more of these, you bring them to me. You are way too sensitive about that shit, man. Oh, fuck those motherfuckers. Fucking traitors. I'll see you when it's time to move against Charlie. Run. <laughs> So Donovan there is teaching us something really useful. We can now wiretap rackets. So we can wiretap these boxes. We have picked a couple of these up uh, previously actually. The actual equipment we need. We wiretap them and that teaches us or shows us the map around us and gives us positions and what places of intrigue and places to then go and deal with. So instead of climbing towers like you do in, in uh, Assassin's Creed and um, Far Cry we are now wiretapping to unlock the map and see more of what's going on. And then that in turn gives us targets of opportunity and collectibles. Interesting. A different way of doing it, especially. Once it's been wiretapped, okay. And we also, these are the wiretaps we need to pick up to be able to do more. As I say, we have picked a few of these up previously. So now we need to deal with Charlie Kincaid and we need to start by interrogating his pushers to give us more information about him and his operation. Charlie Kincaid is operating out of the Baptist Church so we need to get as much information as possible, force him to show his face. So our first informant looks to be in the building nearby. We did do this previously as we found out who the leader of the Haitians was. So we need to get inside this building and interrogate the guy inside so then hopefully give us some information so let's see how we get on interrogating our first informant What's four finger got going on at the church? There's all kinds of dope over at the church. If you destroy it, the boss is gonna lose a lot of money. My crew will be in touch. Hit him from the other side! You can't hide from me. To be fair, that went pretty well. <laughs> uh, surprised the guy while we was interrogating his boss didn't actually do anything. He just stood there waiting, which is a bit weird. But that is the first person interrogated. We need to destroy Charlie Kincaid's heroin now. Uh, just making sure we've cleared everything out of this house first, though. Always make sure we've picked everything up. So we've got to head to the next location where we should find some drugs to destroy. And here we are. We've got to make our way in. And once we're inside... Okay, covert approach. You can okay. 
we plan to be covert where possible. I think going all guns blazing is the wrong way of doing things the majority of times. But when our covert approach fails, then the guns will probably come out pretty quickly. So we need to get inside here and try and destroy the heroin. Are the windows open? No. Okay, we're not going in via the windows. I don't really know what the best way at this point. We've got to work out a best approach. There's something going on above. There's some scaffolding. Let's have a look up top and see if we can decide which way to go in from here. Okay, further up. What can we see? Should we get a good overview of who's around and who's uh, protecting the place, I think. There's two guys down there. Uh, we've got another guy down there. A couple of things showing up as well. as things that we can pick up, pick up I think. Uh, there's a guard down there as well. What's that? Binoculars. Some more money. Always good. Okay. I don't know what that means by um, sniper point, but there we go. We were being seen a minute there as well, which wasn't handy. So, no way up, no way in from the roof, but we did see this open bit. They're obviously building an extension to the building here. Hostile zone as well. Okay, we're going to have to take a time and just see if we can get inside here. Someone, the person who saw us is now heading onto the roof. Hopefully they don't drop down and we'll be fine. No one seems to be around. And we can see the heroin inside using Lincoln's vision, as they call it. There's a nice shotgun on the table. A bit more money as well. Uh, we don't need a shotgun, so we'll leave it there. What else can we pick up here? Some more money. That all goes towards taking down what they owe as well. The money they earn. So that does help us. Alright, is there anyone inside here? Oh, we've got to break in first. There we go. That's it. Is anyone inside though? Targets. Okay, so these are the crates of heroin we need to destroy. Do as much damage as possible to damage um, the operation effectively. There is a guy relaxing at the top there. So ideally we need to take him out, I think. If we leave him alone, he's likely to spot what we're doing. So I think let's see if we can get to him. He's not actually looking at us. Talking to a young lady by the looks of things. So let's try and sneak up to him and take him down quietly if we can. There's ammunition in the chest over there as well. Who he is. He's not seen us. And that's him taken care of. The girl has gone running out. That could be an issue, but I don't think we can do anything to stop her, really. Anything decent in here? No. Some more money to grab as well. We're doing okay money-wise. Although I'm sure we need to spend it when we want to upgrade weapons and things. Some more money on the table. Oh, another picture. That's one of the collectibles uh, collected then. Okay, I think it's time to destroy the heroin. I think that should be our next port of call. The only downside to doing this is this going to then encourage the enemies inside. Oh, there's people here. Okay, we've been seen. Covert approach failed. Time to shoot.
that is all of them taken down and I think everything done that we need to do here. There are some more weapons but again we can only carry two and the two we have I'm pretty happy with. I don't see the point in swapping weapons if we don't need to. Uh, heroin is destroyed so our next port of call is to go and interrogate some more of Charlie Kincaid's pushers. We just need to get out of here. Ideally quietly if we can. We need to just try and avoid being seen and then we can get going. So I might be the only person left here, to be fair. He's spotting us. Ah, oh, he saw us. Right, we've got to deal with him quickly. We got him. Was he trying to make a phone call? I think he was trying to call him back up. But we dealt with him. So we're going to get out of here. Let's head through the church. We haven't been through the church yet. Some more money in here as well. We know they're using the church as one of their base operations. That building's just out the back. So I'm assuming the building belongs to the church, in fact. Is there anything in here to pick up? I'm thinking collectible-wise, essentially. There could be something in here that we should pick up. Some more money. Always handy. I think that's everything, though. Okay. We're going to head outside and make our way to where the next informers, uh, the next pushers are, so we can interrogate them and get them to give us some information on Charlie Kincaid. Here we are. We need to interrogate the informant there and get some more information. They're in kind of is it a bar, essentially. So we've got to find a way in. Again, as covert as possible. It's going to be our mantra going forward. Be as covert as possible until we really have to do anything major and loud. Right, it's breaking the doorway again. These doorway breaks aren't too bad, to be fair. They're not difficult as such. There we go. We're in. There's a couple of people. There's one guy sat at the bar, I think, by the looks of things. And one guy, I don't know if he's chatting away or doing something. We're trespassing. We're not meant to be here. It's an employees-only zone. There's an opportunity for us to take what we can from here, though. That was a locked box I just opened. <laughs> right. There's something on the bar as well to pick up. These two guys are going to be the problem. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to take one down like the other spotting me. That's the thing. Can we sneak into the bar? You lost, boy. No, we, we've been seen. You can see him talking to us there. Asking us if we were lost. Um, I think we might be better off going in the front. Or is he coming out? Hang on. Someone's coming out. Oh, it's not him. Just, I think that's a normal person coming out annoyingly. It's not one of the two. Can we get one of those to come this way? Oh, he may be coming this our way. He is indeed. You're gonna tell me about the dope operation. The boss has got enforcers dealing around the hall. You answered him. Okay, we had a choice there to kill him or not kill him. Now, I'm not a fan of killing people unnecessarily. Um so I'm not gonna kill him. We don't kill anyone unless we really have to. There's a witness calling the police. We've got to stop him calling the police. Again, we're not gonna kill him. Like, we'll only kill if we really have to, and it will be a last resort. If we're shooting, then we haven't got a choice. Collectible picked up as well. We stopped one witness calling the police. I think there's a second. Yeah, there's another witness calling the police. We need to get out of here, I think. Police are coming. We're going to get out of this blue circle. Let's just get out of here. We're just going to run away and hopefully avoid the police. We managed to escape the police. They didn't actually catch us at any point. And we managed to go back once it all calmed down, collect a car. And now we're in the next location where we need to kill Charlie Kincaid's enforcers. We still need to damage some of his business still. It's not enough just yet. But we need to kill his enforcers. There's only one bar looks around. There's also some drugs inside as well to destroy. So again, we'll be as covert for as long as we can. And then once we have to go loud, we will. I think there's quite a lot of enemy here though. So this is going to be tricky. Especially to stay silent. Um, we don't want to kill the informant either. We want to... Oh, no, we do need to kill him. He's an enforcer, not an informant. That's the difference. I thought for a minute we needed to keep him alive, but we don't. So the sentries are someone you've got to stay away from. They will call for backup, I believe. If they manage to get to a phone. So if they see you, that's a bit trickier. I don't think the others do though. If they see us, I think it's okay. So there's no open doors here. This is just an open yard with one doorway, I think. Or an open garage, essentially. We need to get in there. 
and take all these people down at the same time. I'm not really sure. Our best play. What is the best way of doing this? We've got several over there. There's a sentry over there as well. We don't want him calling reinforcements. Um, I could shoot him. Annoyingly, we haven't got a silencer or anything. So once we shoot, everyone's going to know we're here. There's someone else walking around over there as well. Is he going to spot us? I think the sentry's got to be the target first and foremost. To get him down. Right, he's down. Sentry down. They know we're here. Let's fight. On the bright side, I get to clean my shorts now. That is job done, and now we just need to get away. So let's try and get out of this area as quickly as we can. We need to get back to the car. Uh, that's an issue. They're police. In front of our car. Okay, let's just hide and let them go past. They're reversing. Oh, they were reversing back. They can't get out. Our car's blocking them for getting out. Okay, this could be tricky. The police could turn on us. But let's see if we can drive away. And uh, let them out at the same time. Yes. Okay, perfect. So, we're going to head off now, and we're going to head to meet Donovan. I've been listening in on old Charlie, and he isn't such a bad fellow. He's more of a kinder, gentler redneck, and as luck would have it, his wife is expecting. Man in that situation usually doesn't care who he works for, as long as he's still above ground. Poor sap starts blubbering when the two of them talk about names. Right now, it's between Bocephus and Thomas Lee. Anyway, his guys have the church locked down, and all of them are more of the shoot first, let God sort them out variety of redneck. You get your hands on Charlie, though. He'll do what he's told without putting up much of a fuss. All your intel's been updated. You going back to the motel? After I get something to eat, I'll see you when you're done dealing with these inbred assholes.
So it is time to take down Charlie Kincaid. And we can also recruit now, by the looks of things. So you can recruit bosses as well. That'll be interesting to see how that works out. Okay, we have got a couple of weapons. Let's call in the um, weapon guy. Could use some supplies. He should arrive in his truck. And then we can just make sure we've topped up the thing, everything we need. There's always that concern that we're going to miss something. But I think we can only carry two guns currently. Which is a little bit frustrating. Um, we haven't really found something we enjoy using as of yet. Not that we've had much chance to change around. Ammunition is also something I'm thinking about. Tack vest, potentially, as well. Um, I don't really know what else we need. A few Molotovs. Uh, vehicle modifications, don't worry about that. Yeah, tack vest. There we go. Always good to have a tack vest. Just, it just helps us. Health is one of the important things that I struggle with sometimes. So always good to have one. Right. We can go in the same way we went last time. This is the same building we've already been in once and destroyed a load of heroin. So we can now go to get back inside and deal with Charlie Kincaid this time. So if we go in the same way we went in originally, which was to the side of the garden. We've got a scaffolding there as well we can use. Uh, that was our way in last time. So, we're going to work our way in and be as silent as we can for as long as we can, once again. And hopefully, take down Charlie Kincaid once and for all. Let's see how Lincoln gets on. Problem I bet you here can't solve. What do you think Georgie will do if he finds out all our dealers are getting hit? He'll kill Richie for sure. Probably Charlie and Merle too. Fuck. Comes to that, my ass is vanishing. Georgie will never find me out there in that swamp. Charlie called in all the boys. We're good. Just need to hunker down and wait for that nigger to come to us. Y'all settled on a name yet? Was thinking about Thomas Lee after my old man. Hmm, that's got a nice ring to it. This shit with us getting hit doesn't get settled. My boy might wind up being. Jesus Christ! Ugh. Work for me, and you might live long enough to raise your family. Okay, sure thing. Whatever you want. That's good, Charlie. Real good. And there it is. We have recruited Charlie Kincaid to work for us now. And that is his business taken down and is now in our hands or Lincoln's hands. You can see the increase there in revenue. And we need to assign this to Cassandra once again. And that will give us a gunsmith improved accuracy. Not sure what that entails, but that's what it says. But we're going to assign this racket to Cassandra once more. Send your men to the First Baptist Church. Those Dixie heathens have been handled. I'll have some of my men come right over. And thanks. Please state your name for the record. Donovan. 
John. Mr. Donovan, you understand that by appearing before this committee, you have explicitly waived your constitutional rights in regards to counsel and self-incrimination. Sure. And you further acknowledge that by appearing before this committee, you agree to disclose all information pertaining to the events that occurred in New Bordeaux during the summer and fall of 1968. <laughs> I wouldn't be sitting here if I didn't. You were an operative in the Central Intelligence Agency from 1953 to 1969, is that correct? That's right. When did you arrive in Vietnam? August of 1961. Please describe for this committee the actions you took during your time in Vietnam. I spent a couple months in Saigon. Then I was transferred to a base in Laos that was operated by the Special Activities Division. We trained and equipped the Hmong and then turned them loose on the NVA. We're running arms and supplies via the Ho Chi Minh Trail. And you worked with Lincoln Clay in what eventually became the Phoenix Program. Within a year or so, Lincoln was heading up his own PRU. We'd cross over into Vietnam and locate enemy targets and either kill them or bring them back for interrogation. <laughs> Just thinking about it? Jesus Christ. You wouldn't believe the shit we did to those cocksuckers. And that is Smack Racket secured. Cassandra is now in charge. Charlie Kincaid is also there. We have a new mission to do. Kill Richie Doucette. That's our next one. And also talk to Cassandra as part of it. But that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, you know what to do. But thank you again for watching. We'll see you next time for more Mafia 3.